tell you that I love you And I pray you try to trick me But baby, you told me you was going through this with me Tell me I was tripping and my eyes were seeing shit But it was just a bitch, no you can't admit to it Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, my name is Princess Justice If you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button today I am coming in here to show you guys how to manifest the partnership that you want with someone. So I have written this down like a year ago and I'm sticking to it. Like I'm sticking to it because I have wrote this down the beginning of the year. Like literally January 20th, 2021 I wrote this and I'm sticking to it because by writing this I learned what I don't want and also I had to take a look back and look at what my relationships were like prior to me writing this and writing this has helped because it allows me to go back and look at it and see exactly what it is I need to work on but also what it is that I would like to have in a partnership type thing. When you want to manifest anything, it is important to say that I have. Because if you don't say I have, it's not gonna work for you. So you have to speak in future tense in order for it to happen for you. And this video is gonna be very, very lengthy because I'm gonna break down why I want what I want. Okay, so it says, in a partnership, and I say partnership because, as you guys know, if you watch my How I Knew I Was Queer video, I basically explain how I like women and I like men wouldn't mind dating someone that was transgender. Like, I wouldn't mind that. Partnership, for me, is a huge variety. So, I'm not necessarily bisexual, but I am queer. In a partnership, I have communication. Like, I am very, very, very big on communication. Like, I don't play that. So, it is very important for me to have someone in my partnership that knows how to communicate. Because that is a big thing for me. Like, you have to be able to hold a conversation with me. And if you can't do that... Like, I'm un I, I'll am i give you a chance, but I'm, like, already uninterested. I'm giving you a chance to see what it is that you can do. I have a partnership that is understanding. Like, that comprehension and understanding shit is important. Because motherfuckers just be listening, but not really taking the time to comprehend what it is that's being said. It's important to listen and pay attention to shit. And that attention part, it, it goes into this partnership that I have. It's important for the person that I'm with to have compassion. If you're not compassionate towards people, like, I can't. Like, if you're always judging someone, I can't. It's important for my partner to have truthfulness and honesty. Like, I don't give a fuck if you fucked up bad. Like, tell me so I can know, like, what's going on. Like, I really give two fucks about what it is that you did from the beginning. Like, that's not important to me. What's important to me is that, like, your safety is good. After that, once you tell me what it is that you did, I can decide from there whether I want to continue fucking with you or not. So, the next thing is open-mindedness. I need my partner to have open-mindedness because I'm not a person that judges people. I always come in with the open mind, open heart. I start from the beginning. I understand the story. I understand who, what, when, where, how, all of that. It's very important for me to have a partner that is open-minded towards people and things. I have a partner that is confident. You can be confident and not be cocky. You can be confident and be humble. You can be confident and be compassionate. 
don't be out here trying to act like you bad and busy because I don't like a person that shows or feels like they're better than other people. Cut that. I need the humbleness. I need the honesty. I need you to be chill in all settings, but no, like, when you're in that setting, how to present yourself. The next thing is wrongness. Like, I need you to know who you are. I need you to know what it is that you want. Because if you don't know what you want, we waste the time. I need the partnership to have healing. We have to be working on ourselves. We have to be understanding of who we are now. We have to be understanding of our past selves and how it has led to now. Positivity. I love a person with a positive spirit. If you have positivity, I'm good. I'm good on all of that. I have a partnership where there are pure intentions. Now, you're not going to do anything that would harm me in any way or put me in a situation of harm. Pure intentions, like you gotta come with it. I have a partnership that has love. As a Pisces, we love love, but for me, there are like certain things that I need to work on. I have a partnership that has a great family dynamic because I feel like if your family dynamic is fucked up, you fucked up. I have a partner that has financial stability. I think it's very important for a partner to be financially stable on their own and not necessarily have to depend on another person. Like, I know that on, on the way. Acceptance, like, they accept themselves as I am learning to accept myself. I am in a partnership that has one child. Now, if, say hypothetically, me and you dating, right, okay, and I come into the relationship and you have one child. That's all, that's all I can do is one child. Either you have one child or we have a child of our own if you don't have kids. Run. I have a partnership that has an interest in travel. Like, I love traveling. I love seeing what's outside of the United States. I love seeing different shit. I love it. Like, I enjoy it. Like, it's my thing to do. If you guys watch my Get to Know Me video, I spoke on some of the places that I've been to before COVID. I have a partnership that has goofiness, laughter, and deserved discussion. You have to be able to make me laugh. You have to, like, be funny. But you also have to know when to be serious and if there's a disagreement about something, you don't need to be doing all this. All this yelling, that don't need to be happening. Like, you do not have to yell. We, we do not have to argue. Like, that shit gets time. I was going to say they have some type of education, but no. My partnership has an education of either a bachelor's or or a master's, or they have an education in music, like they know something about music. I don't give a fuck if you don't have a master's. I don't give a fuck if you don't have a master's, but if you have some type of knowledge in music, I'm gonna fuck with you. I'm, I'm gonna fuck with you, period. My partnership has to have some type of creative shit. Like, they gotta be creative in something. Whether it is film, acting, dancing, singing, rapping, or drawing. Drawing kind of goes into the art of things. They have to be some type of artist. Affection. Now, I'm a person that does not do well with affection. When I have a partner that has affection, it will teach me how to be affectionate. I have a partner that has good complimentary. They know how to compliment me, just as well as I know how to compliment them. I'm very good with giving compliments, but I'm not good at receiving them. When I have a partnership that is giving compliments toward me, it will teach me how to accept compliments. 
I have a partnership that is very careful. They care about my well-being. They care about the things I'm doing. They show the support that's supposed to be shown. This partnership has no abusive ties. We ain't gonna be touching on each other. We ain't gonna be fist fighting. We ain't gonna be boxing. We ain't gonna be doing nothing of that. We ain't putting our hands on each other, okay? We gonna talk about it. We gonna have a conversation. Care for self. That ties into the oneness. Doing things to care for yourself. You come first before I do. But when we come together, we are some power shit. Together, we own that shit. Separately, we own that shit. Friendship is very important for me and my partner to have a friendship before anything. Me and my partner need to be best friends. We have to know everything there is to know about each other, whether it's in the beginning or throughout the process of us dating. Like, I, I, I need to know a lot of shit before I get to the point where I can say I do. Or before I get to the point where we in unison and shit. Like, you gotta be my best friend. Like, I gotta know some shit before I, I, before I say some shit. So the next thing is sureness. Like, they always have to be sure of what it is that they're doing. Like, is this a good decision? Like, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Um, if I don't get this position, then it's okay. I'm gonna get another position. Like, they have to be that type of person for me. A care for mental health. That kind of ties into the care of self. Make sure your mental is right. Like, like, make sure you're in a good place. Because I don't have time to be coming around you in your sixth thing. In the partnership, I have an ongoing attraction. Like, it's not just some shit that lasts a month or two and then that's it. I really have to fuck with you. I have to be attracted to you in all ways. If I'm not attracted to you in all ways, it's not gonna work. Always, always. This person can't have a job like this. I ain't doing it. You gotta be clean. I don't play that a bit because I done already been through that shit. Cause, so I'm kind of just like, no, none of that. They gotta be between. I always go up in age when I hit the next 10 years. So right now I'm in my 30s, so they have to be between the age 30 to 36. We not going nowhere past that because that's a little bit too old for me. I, I'm not there yet. They have to have financial support. They have to be able to support themselves but also support me. I also have to be able to support myself but also support them. At least we at least have to go on two dates a month because I don't like going out like that. So two is my limit. They gotta be brown skin. I don't play about that melanin. I don't play about that melanin. They gotta be flirtatious. I just like flirting. Like I like flirting. So they have to be flirtatious for me. If they ain't flirtatious, it's not my luck. Like, you gotta be able to spit at I'm one of those people. I may not look like it, but I'm one of those people that know how to spit. It is so natural for me to do. It is so natural for me to fight. They have to be attentive, attentive to my needs. Whatever needs it is that I have, you have to be attentive to it. And if you're not able to be attentive to it, I ain't got no problem attempting to do that shit myself. Like, whatever you got going on, you know, you do it and, I, you know, I try to, you know, make the situation work myself. I don't be bugging. I don't be bugging about, you know, people not being there and shit. And then the last one is Attention to detail. You got to, I gotta let you know if something is off. You gotta let me know if something is off. Because if shit is off, 
it's gonna get rocky and we don't want that so it like i said in the beginning it's very important to communicate if I notice some shit that look off, I'm gonna let you know. If, if your tie don't look right, I'm gonna let you know. If, you know, if your dress looking a little, a little crooked, I'm gonna let you know. People find that to be the hardest thing. They always see it as like hating, but it's not that. It's simply, yo, I'm just letting you know. You do what you wanna do. Those are some of the things that I have used for manifesting a partnership. I've already put this out into the universe. I just felt like, you know, making a video would make it 10 times better. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. I do so.